Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, The Hoxton Trend. Guys, what I thought I'd show you this time around is the Canada Goose Board Den jacket, which I got in from my trip in Hamburg. Um, I bought a whole bunch of Canada Goose jackets and I've got this Canada Goose Board Den, which I've never worn really. Well, I've probably worn it like once or twice. Um, I've actually come around to selling it now, so I'm gonna do a really quick review. I thought I'd show it to you. I haven't really covered too much Canada Goose stuff, so I thought I'd better cover this one before I send it off later on today, okay? So listen, let's get into it, let's crack on. Two seconds. Okay chaps, so this is the Orden. Now although it does look black, it is actually navy, but it's a really, really dark navy colour. Now um, the Borden jacket was actually inspired by the Canada Goose Chili Whack, which is very, very similar. And there are a few minor differences between the two jackets. Now the Borden retails for £750 and it's an extremely um, warm jacket. This jacket actually can deal with a temperature of up to minus 10 and minus 20 Celsius. Now the material on the outside of this jacket is called Arctic Tech. Canada Goose claim it's their most trusted uh, or their most proven textile. It's actually a, a mix between polyester and woven cotton. Now, the jacket is 100% waterproof, windproof, water resistant, and all of the seams have been sealed on the jacket as well. So what that means is when the seams are sealed is that the water will not penetrate the jacket. If you look on the inside of the jacket here, you can see there is some um, puffiness on the inside, so there is some down insulation inside the jacket. Um, what I find with Canada Goose jackets is they tend to be a little bit more bigger, a little bit more bulkier. So even though this is a size M, it almost fits like a large, maybe even almost like an extra large, but that's how the fit is meant to be. It should still be fine on the arms, it should be still fine on the length, but you might find that there's going to be a bit of puffiness um, inside the jacket. And the reason why that is, is because that also helps to keep the air inside the jacket warm and to keep you well insulated so it's that that is part of the design got this mouth guard here which uses a bit of fleece so that when you're breathing you can put the jacket right up to your mouth and this will protect you on this side here chunky thick um ykk vislon zips there so we know that the zip is um good quality and the track will just run simply forever smaller patch canada goose on the arm there and some of the ways that I use to spot the Canada Goose is just to look you can see the white bit there are these very tiny tiny strips of lines that go through in a diagonal direction also the Canada Goose writing should be very clean the leaves and the writing here should be very clean and the stitching on the inside and all the embroidery around should be really really perfect sometimes what you find on the fakes is that the stitching on the um, on the on the arctic map here is really bad and the writing can be off and also rather than having white strips what you might find on the fakes is it looks like little dots all of the genuine jackets the zips should all be uh, ykk vislon i have seen some fakes come in the shape of the Vislon YKK zip, but it doesn't say Vislon YKK on it, okay? Uh, but one of the things you can also do in, in the newer jackets is just jump inside to the label here and you can see that it should have the hologram and also this quality assurance mark that you can see here, followed by a whole host of other labels. Some of the older jackets, what they've done is they've actually got the labels like this. You will find that the hologram might be here and this blue strip might be here. So you might find that it's one, two, three, um, columns of the um, labels those ones are a bit of the older jackets as well and really the, the, the really easiest and simplest way for you to identify your Canada Goose jacket if it's genuine is you can just take pictures of all of this stuff you can take pictures of the jacket take pictures of the label take pictures of the um, Canada Goose badge and you can actually send it over to Canada Goose jump onto their website um, if you're in UK jump onto the UK website if you're in America or wherever country you're from jump onto the relevant site and find the email address in customer services. If you email them, uh, tell them that you want to verify a jacket, they will write back to you and then you can forward them a whole bunch of um, pictures and they can actually verify you, which is 
that's wicked man that's really good that they're doing that because there's, there's quite a lot of fake Canada gooses out there now this boarding has got lots of detail throughout you can see it's got Canada goose on the pocket there on the back of the jacket you can see you've got the pool handle in the arctic conditions if someone's slipped or if someone's fallen or gone through like a like a bit of ice you can just use this to pull them up so this is good this has been well stitched into the jacket what i'd find with some of the counterfeits is that the stitch on here is really bad and even this canada goose um label the stitching is not very good at all on the hood we've got some nice detail here we've got a little strap so you can pull the hood back as well even got some pull cords on the hood so you can tighten that up one of the things that i'm really starting not to like is the fact that you have the fur so what i do like about this canada goose is that you can take the fur off if you don't wish to wear it like I do. I'm not really re into wearing the fur as much. Just got the jacket all dirty now with a fluff on it. Fastening at the bottom so that you could, that will help you to keep the air uh, locked in so that the air doesn't come in underneath. The material on this, when the water goes on it, literally it just kind of rubs off the jacket. And if you get a really thick shower and you're wearing this, the water does seep into the jacket just a tiny bit. But I promise you, when you get home and hang this jacket up, Within a couple of hours again, it's just totally dry and um, yeah, it deals with the weather conditions really, really well, okay? So yeah, that's it. That's it with the um, Canada Goose Borden. Listen guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. I hope you found it um, informative. Lots more different reviews come in, so hold tight for it. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, share the video, like, and don't forget to subscribe, okay? Lots more stuff like this coming, guys. All right. Catch you in a bit, man. Peace out.